together. Need a couple more. Those iguanas are digging multiple holes in areas in between this parking lot. It's, it's ridiculous, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. We're able to get this one. Look at this. Wow. That is a cool looking iguana. They're getting ready to drop these eggs over here. We're going to set up a camera. We're going to be back in about an hour. I'm going to grab my air rifle. So when we do come back, if they're there, uh, hopefully we'll be able to take them out. Look at those colors. It's like turquoise, orange. And it's like it's really, really cool. It's right inside here, digging the hole. Silly, silly iguana. We'll be back, guys. Let's bag and tag this one. Get those air rifles ready. And when we do have that opportunity, hopefully, we'll be able to take them out. The real good thing is we were able to stop this big one right here from depositing those eggs. You can just see the size of this one right there. Absolute massive. Like a quick example of what these iguanas are actually doing. People think, think it's a joke. Oh no. You got these iguanas making burrows like they're groundhogs. They can really devastate a property. I mean, you can just see these, these massive craters right here. Now, we actually went to another customer's house and we had to dig them out because we went there a couple minutes late. And man, it's like these iguanas, it's like they don't even know which way to dig. One of them was going that way, another one was going this way. There was even one that got stuck in the ground from another one uh, making his burrow collapse. And the one that got stuck wasn't even that big. It wasn't even that big. It looked like a baby if you ask me. This one right here is not a baby by any means, any stretch of the imagination. That is a full, 
female iguana just packed with eggs insane it's got to be at least a six to five pound lizard and this guy was out here trying to dig go inside these burrows it's absolutely incredible we got two of them we'll have to swing back over here later these guys got started early they haven't even got a chance to warm up so far we got two of them right there the customer i've been working for for the last couple years always contacts me around this certain time when iguanas are trying to dig hole for whatever reason they love to go right behind her pool uh, by the deck over side of the house and try to dig right underneath the foundation um you know obviously this is pretty alarming for many reasons i mean it's not a serious problem out there like it's not like she has 10 or 20 iguanas digging in the same area like the other spot uh, but you know i mean to have one you know um, we don't know if that would you know encourage those iguanas that hatch to go back there and continue that cycle of digging those nests in that same spot now question i know sea turtles uh, usually always go back to the same spot that they were hatched. Our iguanas, uh, do they follow the same type of behavior? Do they usually go back to their nest site? Drop a comment, let me know. Because she says she sees iguanas year round, you know, here and there just walking by. But every year it seems like certain iguanas come back to that same exact spot, the same area, dig holes and lay eggs. Hey. Is he still here? Wow. It's right over there. Man. Okay. We timed this one out perfect. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. That, that's crazy right there. So this this just started a couple of days ago. Yesterday. Yesterday. Already? Look at that. that. That's wild, man. I'm really glad we came here. I had a call the other day, and I just came like a couple hours late. And the whole, they were like, the iguana was doing this, and it sealed it back up perfectly. Like, nothing happened. That's crazy. So, there was a, another one hanging out. So, is that the male the or female? This one. This one's the female. Right, she was the one digging. This is the female, most oh, definitely. No, they they do, but you know what I think? I think during this egg season, when they got eggs, they're not really too focused on on eating. I don't know if she even has that much space to. No, no, no. The thing is, is. You know, it was it was just a it was just an attempt to get it, you know. But during uh, like egg season or mating season, sometimes yeah. they're just not really yeah. Yeah. focused on food. They're focused yeah. on. But hey, guys, we got it. We're good to go. Yeah, we are and good. You got some eggs. And we got some eggs. Yeah, <laughs> got some eggs. Could be. But if you see him again, snap me a photo. Yeah, absolutely. Where are you where are you visiting from? Chicago. Chicago. You hear iguana stories, right? Oh yeah. You've seen them on the news. Absolutely. You're seeing it right yeah. here first time. What do you gotta say, man? I, was, I, was watching, I was watching your video about the redhead. The redhead? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it like a, a different species or kind of yeah. overpopulating? Yeah, what yeah. Those redhead lizards, yeah, they are. Um, you know, they don't get quite as big as iguanas, you know. Yeah. And uh, as you're seeing from your uh, friend, your family member, the iguanas can cause considerable damage with their digging. Because, dude, I had it. You see all this soil? How it's this color? Yeah. That iguana is like deep in there, you know. Really? It's deep because I had to try to dig one out the other day, and the soil goes from different colors, from like being darker to like lighter to like clay color. So it just it just burrows. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. We got it, so cool. nice job. We got it. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm right in the act of digging. Man, guys, we are on a roll right now. We're on a roll. Catching iguanas. And you guys thought we were done. I'm telling you, when you with the iguana man, dude, the 
the party don't ever stop. Let's keep rolling. Yeah, we do got another call. Uh, I've been working with this customer. He's got iguanas on the roof. We already uh, took care of one of them, but apparently the other one uh, just keeps, you know, invading the property, which obviously can be a huge security threat. You know, if you're living at a house and you just got, you know, hypothetically a lizard on there trying to, you know, take over your roof, could be a problem. And we're not talking about little lizards like that. We're talking about lizards that can get, you know, up to four feet long, especially, uh, you know, roof iguanas. Uh, they don't get quite as big from what we've seen from like those giant alphas. I mean, if you had a six foot iguana on your roof living in there, I mean, you'd have some serious problems. Go out there, see if he's out right now would be the perfect time for him to come out and bask. So the iguana is back on the roof. Iguanas plus roads plus holes equals danger. Oh shoot, oh, there it is. There it is, what are you doing, buddy? Caught you red-handed. Digging that hole. We told you guys, you can't be digging over here. Oh, we told you, buddy. Can't be digging no holes. Right there, but you don't wanna listen. Now we caught you after giving you a warning. You're doing the same thing we told you not to. Go figure, guy. I mean, you thought you'd get the memo. Look at his jaw split. He didn't really seem to care or learn. But wait, there's some more iguanas. Let's bag this guy. Where did those little buggers go? They all probably ran out underneath there. Silly, silly iguanas. They don't ran underneath the storage.